Kelly Clarkson, thank you so what much up? for coming on our show. Oh my gosh, I, I miss you. It's good to see your face. Um, it's good to see. It's good to see adults instead of children all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all day long. Where Where are you? you look, uh, kind of Montana. -y, is that? Yes, we are actually, we're cheating. It looks like I'm in a finished cabin, but this literally like has no flooring. The walls aren't <laughs> finished. <laughs> like it's, but we, That's poster we board? didn't know. We didn't know we were going to be doing a show from here. So it's, you know, yeah. we're like making it happen. There's literally a giant like tarp like carpet like hanging right here to block out windows that have no drape. Yeah. It's just we're making it happen like you are in your house. <laughs> uh, it's awesome that you're doing that, by the way. Thank you for doing your show from there. I, I know that you do uh, uh, the karaoke uh, where you you sing uh, at the beginning of your shows, which is awesome. I love you do that. I, I don't even know if there's any other people that person that can do what you do. Uh, so you, awesome. James Corden. There's a lot of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You like. No, please. You got the you got the pipes, <laughs> buddy. But uh, I saw that you've been singing in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Because, is that for acoustics? Well, because people. Well, there's two reasons. One, yes, and I know that you sing and you know this. But a bathroom has pretty good acoustics if you're acapella. So I was like, eh. And then secondly, we are literally in a the smallest house we as a whole family have lived in together and <laughs> there's nowhere to go that's the only place to go <laughs> <laughs> yeah at one point i was like i think i'm just gonna make my office and broadcasting thing in the bathroom because that's the only place i can get away and then oh my, you know, my kids still even once they see me do that they think it's funny to come in and and try to open the door and come in so it's, it's more of a game for them. So I just oh, keep moving And around. if it's not a kid, it's a dog barking. It's a car <laughs> pulling up, like a huge truck. It's like, <laughs> it's always something. Well, I, I know that you're busy doing uh, your show, The Voice, but uh, mm -hmm. I will uh, also uh, stress to everybody that Kelly Clarkson's also just an amazing singer who's putting out new songs and new music. Uh, this new song, I Dare You, uh, yeah. is beautiful by the way and what a great Perfect. idea was this your idea to come up with all this and do it in different languages yeah i grew up singing opera and i got to sing in like french and italian latin the latin based language is german um spanish just i got to sing in a bunch of different languages because of um singing in opera and so i thought i mean when you're a kid you want to sing whitney houston right so it wasn't like i was like yeah opera but now i think it's beautiful and i thought it'd be cool one day if like in my career there was a song that was kind of it kind of lent itself to that. And before the pandemic, like I've had this song for this project, we've been working on for over a year. You know, I, I asked um, five other artists um, to, to do this. I had to do, this is the kicker. I literally begged my label and it's not their fault. It's just how it happened. But I was like, please don't send me all these languages at once to record at once. And <laughs> I recorded all of them in four days. <laughs> <laughs> See, only you could end up doing this. Oh, my God. To do, I was but, like, I, I wow. thought I was going to have a brain aneurysm one night. I was, because my brain, I just, I mean, I've never even spoken Hebrew or Arabic, you know? The song is called uh, I Dare You. And yeah. but basically the line is, I, I dare you to love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's basically, I dare you to love instead of fear. Instead of like, especially I feel like we're in a world before pandemic times. I mean, this song ironically is very fitting right now. Uh, but before pandemic times, um, you know, it was, I, it, we're, it's no secret. Like as a nation, we're super divided. Um, as a world, we're getting even more divided. And it's so funny because we're so like technologically advanced. Like you'd think it would be the opposite. It would be more about connection. But anyway, so I thought the song would be cool to, to do um, in that sense. And then all this happened. And we were like, well, I guess we'll just keep the release date since we're super connected now globally. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And the, it's called I Dare You. It's out exactly uh, today, right now. It's out. Is there, is there a song that's not your song that puts you in a good mood that could go to? Do you have any? I well, speaking of bathroom songs, I love singing Aretha Franklin in the shower. Actually, a specific song. My husband probably hates it, but I sing it all the time. Never Loved a Man by Aretha Franklin. It's a good one. I don't know. Never loved a man. I never loved a man. I know Aretha Franklin is one of my all times. I mean, she would. She has been on the show so many times. I miss her so much. She was. She used to call up if there was like if there was a funny like cooking segment. She called up just to talk to me and say, "I love that." It was a really good. Oh my gosh! Just, nah, she's super cool one, and like loved the show. Time, I literally my friend sent me this thing and one. I'm sorry, somebody was trying to call me. Sorry. 
Um, so one time, um, uh, I, I, I sang um, at the inauguration and, um, and I had no idea the last minute James Taylor was singing and I had picked a, I had picked like my country to the or something. And, and, and he came in and said, Oh man, do you mind if I do that one? And you do another one just because I had this thing with the guitar and I was like, Oh my God, you can have anything you want. I'll sing anything else. And so I picked the song I sang or whatever. I can't remember what it was. It might've been my country. To the, it, it was the same one Aretha had done the previous inauguration <laughs> and I had no idea at that point I just uh, didn't remember and yeah. I freaked out afterwards because they were like oh you're saying the one Aretha did and I was like I did what and and I freaked out because you're like no 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 no, no 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 I don't want to be compared I was like I don't want to be compared to that that's like every time you sing a national anthem everybody always talks about Whitney Houston's and it's like can you not compare me to her like that's not fair and I know, like that's... anyway and so anyway but she ended up saying um I literally, I, I screen it because somebody sent it to me. They were like, asked her about the performance and she said it was magnificent. See, uh, you don't forget those things, right? When the legend. It's literally, I, I cried. Like, not joking. I was in a studio making a record at the time and I bawled because I was like, I'm done. I have succeeded. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know. I, I never loved a man. Could you give me a little taste of that song? Yes. Uh, you're no good. Heartbreaker. You're a liar. And you're a cheat. I don't know why I let you do these things to me. My friends keep sorry, somebody keeps interrupting us. Sorry. My friends keep telling me you ain't no good. But all over, they don't know, baby, that I'd leave you if I could. It sounds real good in the shower. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness, it sounds good. Not in the shower. That's fantastic. Thank you Sorry, somebody that. keeps calling me. I'm like, I, I never get calls, and like, I'm getting every call in this interview. <laughs> Good. They're probably watching the show. Um, I'm so like, popular, Jimmy. <laughs> everyone, everyone who's uh, uh, been nice enough to come on our show, we ask them if there's a charity or organization that they're working with. FeedingAmerica.org. Yeah. Who are doing amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, I, I, I gotta be. I mean, you, you know, from doing your show, but. Man, all the giving and all the kindness that's coming out of this kind of feels mm. great to me. But Feeding America, uh, them finally getting some attention of what they're doing. Uh, do you want to talk about them for a second? Yeah, I mean, first of all, it's super cool that you're taking this time. Like in these Zoom interviews, I've been watching it. It's super cool that you're highlighting all these these people that are really trying to like save lives and and especially Feeding America to end hunger in general. It's a It's a great organization, but especially now, like, they're working um, with the governments, like separate governments in all the states, and and they're working to try and make sure that, especially all the like over, I think it's twenty something million kids, without you know school lunch, they don't eat sometimes. And I was one of those kids that was poor and survived, you know, off those meals a lot of times. So um, it's really cool that they're working with um, all the individual governments and making sure that no one's going hungry. People can get to food um, and they can get there safely. Um, and so uh, it's a really great organization in general. Um, I just really like what they're doing right now specifically too. So I thought everybody should, if you're looking for, you know, somewhere to, yeah. to help and, and some way to help, they're a good place to go. Kelly Clarkson, we love you. Uh, you thank you for coming on our show. Uh, thank your song, I Dare You, is out in uh, <laughs> so many different languages that it's amazing. Uh, I, I just thank you for doing this. I know how busy you are and how uh, you're such a hard worker, but uh, we love you, buddy. I can't wait to see you in person. I have a challenge for you. Oh, you do? <laughs> when I come on your show in person the next time, you have to sing one of the different languages of I Dare You with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. To, what's the easiest what's what's one? <laughs> you can pick. <laughs> There's five. You have time right now. I just want like a verse. It's so hard, man. <laughs> it really is. Right? All right, I'm, I'm going to start. I'll, 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 pick a, I'll do it for you. I will find a okay. verse. And I'm master it and okay. singing it back to you. Uh, okay. I, lo I love you, bud. Okay, I love you too. Stay safe. Tell your family hello. I will, you too. Uh, uh -huh. It's on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.